Um, good evening, everyone. As Andy said, I'm Dr. Ian Chandler, and I'm an engineer at the Coastal Structures Group at HR Wallingford. And I'm going to, uh, part of my job is to build and then destroy, um, sorry, test um, physical models of coastal structures. And I'm going to present briefly uh, the physical modelling that's been done on the Aberdeen Harbour expansion project, which is a 350 million pound key infrastructure project. Now, the idea or the basis for the project is to moor larger vessels within um, Aberdeen Harbour and the existing harbour can't cope, such as cruise liners. <laughs> Enough of that. Um, so, Aberdeen Harbour is on the east coast of Scotland and experiences some quite extreme weather conditions and the new design has to withstand that and protect the vessels that are moored there. To build the physical model, um, we need to have lots of data. And that comes from many sources, such as drone surveys, design drawings, etc. And what I can do is I can put all of that together. And in this case, uh, we built a 1 60th scale model of the harbour. With 8 metre wave heights, or up to 8 metre wave heights at Aberdeen, Unless we completely block off the whole entrance of the harbour, which sort of renders it useless, um, some of that wave energy is going to get in. And so we started by looking at the motion of the vessels inside the harbour and measuring the forces on the mooring lines that are attaching them to the quay. And through that, we optimised the layout of the breakwaters and the quays and also the profiles of the beaches on the south side of the harbour. Having got our breakwaters all set out, we then need to check that they're protecting the vessels and also the port workers from overtopping. So that's water that comes up and over the top of the breakwaters during a storm. So we've, got them, we've worked out what the minimum height of the crown wall needs to be on the north breakwater to meet the overtopping criteria. Finally, we need the breakwaters not to fall down during a storm. So we've checked the stability of over 6,500 army units, like these ones, in the model. And that's led to a reduction in the size of the units on various places in the model, and also changing the tow detail has reduced the amount of dredging. So whilst numerical models and drone surveys and other techniques are important for a project like this, the vital role that physical modelling is playing, and still playing, is really important. So, thank you.